Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my basement and it is a beautiful, glorious, I'm looking out the window, sunny day right now, but I'm down here because I'm going to attempt to catch up on everything because it seems as if this is the week in this time, June, 2024, every new season of everything is dropping at once, but I want to see what happens next with Black Sails, season one, episode six. So Vane is out manifesting his own destiny. Flint is on not one, but two ships that are disabled with a British naval ship barreling their way. And Eleanor is fighting, I was gonna say a mutiny, but she's on land, so it's just a coup, right? Coup and mut mutiny is the same thing. <laughs> so one's on land, one's on sea. <laughs> she's doing her damnedest to stay in control. Still no treasure hunting. But here we go. I'm ready to get to it and I hope you are as well. So um, yeah, I'll get under the big cozy blanket and my citrus beverage of right now is the strawberry lemonade because I'm starting. I'm starting. I got a ways to go, but I got things planned. I got things planned. I hope you have your favorite beverage as well. Let me know what you're drinking. Also, if you haven't already, Patreon. I got full watch along available on Patreon. I would love to see you there. Okay, let's just get to it. I need Max to get a win. I need her so badly to get a win. Four hours to sun up. We can't get those guns before then. Flint will let us leave, right? <laughs> he is a man possessed. Can you get it be right you. to the murder hole? And now there's a new vanguard. They come out, grab our guns, and be on the way out. How did you draw the short straw? This anything see. Just get the guns. Just get the guns. Oh well. Scarborough with him. How did he even know the Navy was around? Richard Guthrie must have been involved. Oh shit, do you think? <laughs> Richard Guthrie was supposed to be in the Guard of Honor with his home. Isn't that what he told us? I mean, what do we really know about that? Is Billy not going to be around for very long because he asks too many questions, which is questions he should rightly have, but there is a bit of stealth all oh, these poor slaves, these poor slaves. Jorge. He wants us to take you to place it in the hole above your head to signal to pirates. To signal to pirates what? That they're there? He says if we help them, they'll bring us back to their home. What makes him so sure about that? No. He says in the Sawa, slave can be free. Get a job and a wage. The rest of you don't kid yourself. You would decide this for us all. We have a chance to be free. I don't care. No weapons on this ship. The pirates plan to return to Nassau. Weapons that are very dangerous to someone I love. No matter what happens to me or to you, those weapons must not be returned. Uh, I think they're thinking. They don't, you don't get to decide for them all. <laughs> they don't care. Oh, the juxtaposition of this dialogue. Two fucking hours she's been holed up in there. Clearly she's taking the decision seriously. I'm sorry, you think it's a good sign she's taking this seriously. Eleanor, right now what you... I believe Captain Lawrence meant to say is... That don't have any allies. Scott's gone. And lift the ban on Captain Vane. A decision which a few hours ago she said would be taken over her dead body. 
He withdraws his men from the street, at which point Captain Lillywhite and his mob are free to burn everything in sight, but all Nassau will most likely descend into fiery mayhem, from which we will all be lucky to escape alive. And every moment that that door remains closed is a moment that Miss Guthrie is considering that outcome as a viable, even preferable alternative to swallowing her bride. <laughs> I think it was Neil. Neil, thank you for placing that idea on the previous episode. <laughs> Pride goeth before the fall, is that the saying? You are. Mr. Hammond, permit me a moment with our friend here. Talk some sense into her, Jack. Before she goes and does something stupid. Tell me what about the fight, Mr. Hammond, over that fucking whore. Mm-hmm. All of that. Mm-hmm. But if you're intent on following this course of action, then I suppose we should do our farewells now. Because I don't think I could stomach watching the men throwing you into that tent as well and having their way with What makes Jack think they're going to get a chance with Anne? She's gonna gut him right there. Gut him right there. Yes. Captain says no light. <sighs> I know. But I'm going to anyway. <gasps> He's gonna read the letters. To the Honorable Justice Addington Thomas. Oh, wait, this was a letter on its way to Boston. You may know Captain James Flint by reputation, but you might not know of his desire to repent. Eager to renounce his transgressions at sea, I've enclosed a bill of exchange for 500 pounds to be spent at your discretion toward procuring whatever permissions necessary. He is caught in a dangerous plot with wicked men who will most certainly kill him when they learn of his betrayal. Jesus. Okay, what exactly did that letter say? Was she beseeching, beseeching favor on Guthrie or Flint? Flint via Guthrie. Ah, so I see why he was chosen. Next. <laughs> Is that what he's thinking? Next. Maybe they should have made more noise up top to disguise the stealthiness. Get me another plan. Was that it? Was that the end of that plan? I need to talk to you now. Was that really the end of that plan? Did he get him? I don't know if he got him. Was that really it? Did they really get him? I want to pardon for Flint in Boston. And she says we're going to kill him when we learn of his betrayal. He played games with his crewmen's lives then. He's doing it again now, and he knows he can get away with it because we're protecting him. If you want to go to the crew with this, be my guest. But I'll do everything in my power to frustrate you. Know that. How can you say that? Because you don't have... fucking battle right now, and I will not undermine his control of what is frankly a shitty situation. Based on a letter written by a woman neither of us know a thing about. True. Billy, you don't know all the pieces. Everything all right? Fine. Billy's come up with our next move. <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to share it with the rest of us. Would I? Would I, Gates? Nobody is sleeping anywhere. Nobody. Mr. Underhill agreed to take Mr. Guthrie in. 
said he planned to use that fact to extort preferential treatment from them when England reasserts her rule here. Mr. Guthrie has betrayed Captain Flint, and you've helped him to do it. It's true, he will not react to your betrayal kindly. Because I cannot in good conscience walk away from here believing you to be in such peril. Eleanor, you have no protect... Does she have a crew of men? Get even, Cal. That won't betray her? She should tell you how fucking desperate I am. Desperate for what? Your friend on the beach. What Hammond's been doing to her. Ain't right. I tried to help. She didn't want it. Now my hands are tied. I can't... You could kill him. I'd do it myself with the men through us feuding. Mm -hmm. Now's the time. Captain's gone. What's to say they don't suspect you no matter how Hammond were to disappear? And what's to say those questions don't lead to me? All your posturing. You won't lift a finger to help her. I didn't say that. You said my plan was too dangerous. So... Your plan isn't dangerous enough. So what's the plan then? Eight men left on your crew. Eight men who support Hammond. You said it yourself. You want to kill Hammond? Then you have to kill them all. <laughs> they disappear all at once. Oh, wait. Tonight, with neither of us implicated. They guard his office. Impossible. Is it? It's not impossible. We just need a little help. From who? Who do you have, Eleanor? Okay, so if she kills all of Vane's crew, he has no crew when she says, I yeah. John, no. she's got John. That's right. That's right. I wasn't asking you to help me. I was granting you the opportunity to help. Does he strike you as the type of person who would ever, under any circumstance, leave a loose end like you walking around? When I took your advice and lifted the ban on Charles Vane, I became the center of all commerce on this island again. Someone Flint doesn't want as an enemy. I'm over the only person in this world who can dissuade him from killing you. Unless. But yeah, so she lifts the ban on Vane, but Vane has no crew. So he can't do business. He had a very different life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> A life I shared with my husband, a man of ideas. In some ways, he was like you, a shepherd to his flock. He would have loved to have met you. Me? Miranda, you need to tell the story a bit faster. Thomas would have played that game with you from dusk until dawn. And everything you hold sacred, he'd leave in tatters. From a desire to see the yoke of shame lifted from your shoulders. You think I am ashamed? My husband and I were happy. This sounds like a game Miranda would play. Captain Flint was Thomas's closest friend. And after his death, he saw fit to spirit me here for my own safety. Why are you here? I'm concerned for your safety. It's late. You knew I'd be alone. It's inappropriate. You're here because you want to fuck me. On the porch! On the porch! Are you gonna let him? Oh, apparently she will. And in return. On the porch! Do you feel better now, sir? That's a lot of years of pent up. <laughs> I'm sorry. We dangled. Four minutes. Suspended over the side. Ooh. It's a rapid penetration to get a charge through the hole. When we move on the bunker, through the hole below. Saw A B try it once. And it worked. Try it once. Said I saw it tried. Tried. Volunteers. Oh, Flint's gonna name them for them. Thanks, them. Bobby. Don't make eye contact. Don't make eye contact. Logan. Logan, may eye contact. Oh, no. It's suicide. We don't have time for a debate, Mr. Logan. Now, I gave you an order. And what happens when those orders get us killed? Again, like... You send in four more. Billy, tell him I'm right. Do you have another plan, Billy? Mr. 
Mr. Logan. Fall in. Billy, tell him I'm right. <laughs> Mr. Logan makes a valid point. Unfortunately, now is not the time. <gasps> now Mr. Logan can't go. <laughs> While we are in battle, the captain's orders are the law. That is what we signed up to. That is what we agreed. Now the order's been given. Heed it! Pirate's life for me. Captain! Oh. Scarborough right there. Oh, look at that shot. Oh. 38 slaves. 38! Well, that was. Given their current situation, my presumption is that there are no nine men on Earth who wouldn't jump at the chance for a little fight. Well, how do you imagine we get them out of their chains? Well, you're going to swing the guys over the side now. <laughs> Still. <laughs> I know that if we reach our destination, we may never have another chance like this. There is no way. You and I, we are both in this hold. We are not in the same place. How many times must you have told yourself that, that you're special? That your master thinks you different from the rest? What the fuck is going on down here? Sir. Is this one? <gasps> Scott, what did you do? Someone jump and cover his nose from the other side. Is he dead or just passed out? Now what? You gotta move quick because somebody's gonna expect him to come back up. What do they think they're doing? Making noise. Now they're making the noise. Something's wrong. Oh, they didn't sit still in rows until more of them came down the way and then jumped them. <gasps> oh, they still, they still went. They still went. Shot. They're like, I'm still going. Oh, Mr. Scott's with them! Mr. Scott's with them! Oh. Oh, they come in guns and blaze! Ah! <laughs> oh, that's Bryson. Shots in the face! Shots in the face! <gasps> oh, is that going to blow up everything? <gasps> oh, you go, girl! Are they... Oh, Hammond. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh. Mr. Hammond, where the fuck are you? My name is John Silver. And I have a proposition for you. Peso. I was the whore's partner. Oh, that new one. The new one. <laughs> this is where I think you and I can help each other. We don't have any fucking money left, you shit. Rackham lost it. Chasing you. I failed to see how that's possible. Oh, this is how you all get them in one room. You told us you lost our pearls in the race. So are you gonna kill Rackham also? Is Jack going? You gave half our pearls to the whore up front. This is how you get them all one room. The half the pearls never went to the Ricks. Where the fuck are they now? Someone is lying to you. 
you tell me who it was, I might be able to help you to figure out why. Well, I don't see how that much matters. Seeing that we found these in your tent just now. Oh, this was a good plan. So far, so far it's looking, it's looking pretty good. Where's the fucking rest of them? Buried. By the wreck. <laughs> I lost six men chasing down this ship. Nearly faced another mutiny all over again. If I had any sense, I'd throw you to my crew. Take the pressure off me. But I'm not gonna do that. Because I'd rather prove you wrong. Okay. Okay. Billy! What? Afraid I got loose lips. Mm-hmm. Lisa and I am on your side. You've got to believe that. And get some answers. I don't know. Flint seems to be pretty forward with his plan. If he wants the treasure, make Nassau better. Oh no! Well, he, he, he lost eight men, <laughs> plus whom ever's going to drown. Oh. Oh. It's it's right to see this. Well, get out of there. Gunners loose! We're getting out of here! The helicopter! They must have gone loose during the explosion! That's two knots and all! It'll drag us down! Oh, you're gonna do this now. It got me! Oh, she's good, Bobs. So the Scarborough immediately went after them in the dark and didn't go to the dramatic. First, which man overboard? Wait, Billy? Wait, what? I missed something. Billy. He fell. Did he? Billy. Did he? You can't turn back. He'll tear us to pieces. We're just going down to the beach in the pre-dawn morning. There's nothing out there but men with pistols and swords. Hmm. I imagine those pearls didn't just materialize out of thin air. With whom did you scheme this? So is Jack going to be the monks, those? Other men who stood by our captain in his darkest hour, men he considers his brothers. That is true. That is kind of true. Did I not deserve a say about this? I just say. No, I have mine. Mm-hmm. And he, so he cares about her enough he's not giving up her scheme. Interesting. Because he could just say Anne's making this shit up. This way. Because you idiots were hurting the whore. <laughs> interesting, interesting. You know, when I first met you, I pegged you for an easy mark. But now, between you and Flint, I'm not certain who I should be more afraid of. Who did she get to help her out? After you lifted the ban, you were angry. Those men out there, they made you admit you were wrong. They made you feel weak. Oh, she got that guy. Oh, 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 oh. I think you felt compelled to let everyone this island now, and in this place, no one fucks with you and gets away with it. Ah! 
And so she got revenge on many levels. Oh, and here goes my see while Bean's gonna come back. <laughs> Old Jim Carver. William Bones Manderley. Huzzah. Is Billy really gone though? And they let Jack live. They let Jack live. One last question for Julia. When she asked you, well, shit, Anne, what makes you think old Jack will go along with this plan of ours and not plead the truth to his men as he's most certainly going to feel duty bound to do? What did you say? I told her given the choice between them and me, he'd choose me. And he did. It's very fucking touching. And the captain, the two of you come up with some idea how to deal with him when he returns? You don't know where he's gone, do you? He ain't coming back. I think if he comes back, he's coming back with different plans. This is his dad. Be crazy if this is his dad. That was a long episode. It felt long. A lot happened, but it also took its sweet time getting there. Hmm. Okay. Is Billy really gone? Is Billy, like, okay, Billy's overboard, but is he dead? He could be picked up by the Scarborough. He can wash up on shore. Questionable. Also, it's just vague enough that instinctually you want to go, Flint's got a reason to, Billy. Billy, we're too suspicious. But also, he could have just fallen over. Because Flint hasn't outright lied. Okay, wait. Stop, stop. Okay. <laughs> I forgot. The beginning and the first guy and the letter and the schedule and the, oh yeah, episode one. <laughs> okay, he told a whopper. He told a whopper. But for the most part, Flint's been very upfront about we're going after the treasure. Once he came with the crew, we're going to go after the treasure. We're going to do everything possible to go after this treasure, meaning he's doing everything possible to go after this treasure. So if you're with him, you will be sacrificed. <laughs> You'll be sacrificed. If he has to sacrifice, you will be. So Eleanor does have a few people loyal to her that will do the physical stuff for her. Interesting. I guess because I have not really seen them. <laughs> I forget she has a little crew, especially with Mr. Scott gone. And they let Jack live. Interesting. And he didn't give an up. Interesting. <laughs> So Flint comes back to Nassau with some guns. I'm gonna guess the Scarborough's also going to come back to Nassau. Why wouldn't they? Guthrie's on a plantation. Mrs. Barlow, what is her, what is her play? Did she think Guthrie's really gonna come through with giving her a new life? And Thomas died before? She didn't have an affair with Flint before Thomas died. It started afterward. Again, just enough but vague. Just enough but vague. It's like with Gates and Billy and Flint and the whole we've given just enough but it's vague. Oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. Episode six. Ooh, thank you so much for being with me on this adventure. And until next time. This is your reminder that you need to stand up, attempt to touch your toes, uh, try to crack your back, stretch your back, stretch your neck, stretch your shoulders, stretch your arms, <laughs> go get something to eat, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, you all, and until next time.